Hey guys, Pro Drains here. Been getting a lot of questions about the car jetter setup in the van. Uh, this is the General Pipe Cleaners JM 3080, 3000 PSI, eight gallons a minute. It has a Honda electric start engine, 12 gallon buffer tank, uh, Vibra Pulse feature. We got your water inlet here with a filter and your water outlet with a shutoff and a pressure gauge. 300 foot hose capacity on the reel here. Uh, we also have a 200 feet of quarter inch hose on that hand reel there with a shutoff. Uh, when we're using this, you know, nine out of 10 times we're using the 3 8 Warthog or we're using the quarter inch Warthog. Um, that's what I found to get the best performance and the best job done with this machine. Uh, we do have a variety of button nozzles, you know, the Root Ranger, the Root Rat, but those give us the best performance. Um, 75 feet of three quarter inch hose to connect to the machine. This way you get the uh, best flow into the tank and you're not losing um, water flow. That buffer tank will keep up with the Warthog nozzle as long as you're not using more than 75 feet. And that's what they recommend if you look in the manual. Um, I like having a little shut off here in case I need to control the flow, take the hose off, what have you. Um, but you know, more than 75 feet, then you might lose uh, water flow and the machine might, might not perform as well. We get full 3000 PSI, um, eight gallons a minute with the nozzle. No problems with the buffer tank uh, or water issues, um, as long as we're not using more than 75 feet of hose, like I said. Um, if I'm inside of a building and out of far distance, then I'll run a quick connect fitting off the end of the 3 8 hose to connect to the quarter inch reel. Um, but most times, if I'm within distance, I have a 50, a 75, and a 100 foot jumper hose that I'll just connect right off the pump to that accessory reel. Um, so this way I get full performance and don't have to waste and lose pressure through this reel. Uh, JM300 has 300 feet of 3 8 hose on it. Um, so if I do need to get out far and I can't do it off the unit, then I'll use the jumper hose to that reel. And if I need quarter inch hose, um, then I'll do the same. Well, it's been a great machine. I did just add that 90 and um, flex hose here just to get the exhaust to come out the back. And this week I'm actually removing um, this plate here in the reel. And I'm going to put a steel plate here and add an electric reel with the motor on that side and have it connected to the battery. Um, again, just for that added convenience. When I am using the jetter out of the back, um, having the electric reel to wrap up the hose will be nice. It's probably the only thing I didn't like about this machine was the handle here on the hose reel would always get caught. Um, so I just took it right off. But great machine. Works nice for us um, for any residential, light commercial, or restaurants. Um, it has plenty of power, plenty of cutting force for roots, um, moving grease, sludge, etc. Um, we have the 4080. U.S. Jetter, uh, 4,000 PSI, 18 gallons a minute. And if we know we're going to a real big job or something that needs that, then we'll bring it. But it's not practical for me to be towing it to every job or be at a job and wish I had the Jetter and have to go get it. Um, having this here is a huge convenience. I use it for nine out of 10 jobs that I would be jetting on. Um, again, I know when I'm going somewhere that I might need a bigger Jetter, but anything up to 300 feet or anything up to eight inch, this can handle it, no problem. Um, and even a little more than 300 feet if I wanted to uh, make it happen, but great machine. Uh, if you got any other questions, feel free to ask. Um, but again, you know, three quarter inch hose, no more than 75 feet into the machine. Um, 300 feet of three eighths piranha here, 250 feet a quarter inch piranha on the smaller reel. You can add a quick connect or whatever fitting here to connect to your smaller reel, but I like using the jumper hose um, when possible. It does have four tires on the bottom, by the way, which makes it great for um, when you are moving it around. Uh, it's got great balance that so you can tip it and turn whatever way needed. I think it's about 480 pounds, um, which isn't much when you think about it. Um, great machine. Simple maintenance, oil changes, and uh, care for the pump. That's about it.
done great for us so far and uh, hope I answered your questions.